and welcome back to Kim's Kitchen. I am so excited. Sasha, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm excited. You will, and we're talking about one of my favorite things, food. That's okay, food mine too. Yes, food's always good. Uh, we have today on set with us okay. Gwendolyn Richards. Oh, I am yes. super excited. This mm. gal knows the culinary scene right. inside and out. Um, we also have Salita from Reworks is back with us and she's going to be making a like a upcycle table serving oh. decor. I'm pretty stoked. I can't okay. wait to see what she's got going this for us. This will be interesting. Yes. Uh, nothing like a you know, glue gun and upcycles. Um, but you know what? You may recognize we've got uh, Carrie Hart, Miss Go Mom Gourmet. Mom Gourmet is Hello. with us today. Um, but you know what? We have an awesome day. It's all about positivity, feeding your soul, feeding your stomach, and we're here to feed your entertainment needs. I'm excited. Miss Carrie, Mom Gourmet, what yeah. are we making today? All right. Well, uh, this is um, this is my version of chicken fried rice. I love Chinese food, fried, because we're not frying it. Um, but it doesn't like me. So I wanted something that was bright and um, full of flavor, and with the ginger and the garlic yep. and the and the red onion. I love the color. Um, I have two girls at home who uh, eat like college linebackers. So Excellent. I require Excellent. large meals to feed them. They're both very busy, they're into sports and they need fuel. Well, and I cool. need to not be shackled to the kitchen even though I like it, but come on. There's We're 26. Other rooms I'd like to be shackled right? in. Mm, no to sell. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, I love this particular meal because it's it's quick. Yep. It's very nourishing. Yep. It's uh, high protein with the chicken and the egg. It's incredibly colorful, and uh, I get to I get to share it with you today. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. I always love to eat. Feel free. Okay. I'm gonna step out. You're gonna get started. You do know the rules, right? I know the rules. And yes. What are the rules? The rules are don't drink. No. Uh, no. That's the other rule. Don't drink and bake because you'll burn your arm. Yes. Um. 60 minutes. Kitchen table. I'm Make on it. Happen. it. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. I'm excited. Yes, me too. Have you ever written a book? I haven't written a book, but I've done some writing. Some writing? Yeah. Okay. But nothing like this. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is impressive. Yeah. This is Gwendolyn Richard. Oh, she's, oh. Hello. I can drink that. I can drink that too. That's that's pretty awesome. Salty dog. So yeah, salty dog. I think we'll be doing that. I love a cookbook that in, that uh, includes uh, drinks. Yeah. So, and photos. And I love the photos. Photos. Photos are important. Yeah. Um, I know for myself, growing up down in Kansas, I mean, there's some there's some traditions that mm -hmm. we always have every Thanksgiving that I always know is going to be on the table. Right. Kay. So like. My mom's cool whip cheesecake. I know it sounds really kind of cheesy, no pun intended. But it or, sounds good. It is good. Okay. And it is good. And it's something that we have. It's a family favorite, okay. you know. It's a favorite for some of my family members that it's what they have for, for their they birthday. Have it every time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they it's have like, it every time. Gotta have it because it's that celebration food. That's now, like. I'm dying to know. Yeah. Yes. So tell me. Okay. What, so there are so many things that happen at our family gatherings, but for some of my favorite foods is curry chicken. My grandma and my mom know for well, sure. Well, your, your family's originally. From we are from Jamaica. Jamaica. Yep. Okay, so cool. Montego Bay um, in Jamaica. And we have curry chicken. We also have some jerk chicken, which is really good. It's spicy. It's good, flavorful. A lot of rice and peas, which is also really good. That's always on the table. Um, those are some of my real favorites that we have. 
Now, is Jamaican food any way related close to like uh, like New Orleans, like Creole food? No. Because they could do a lot of rice also. Exactly. Um, ours is just a little bit different in regards to all of our food, super fresh, it's seasoned, it's marinated. We make sure that it's infused with flavor and that's what I love about it. So a lot of it too is we have the chicken sitting in the spices for a couple of hours. So nothing like um, in 60 minutes, but that way um, it tastes amazing. Now, would you, for for like Jamaican food, yep. would you take and do like a batch of chicken and marinate it so then you can cook it? Yeah. Uh, just when needed or yeah so what we would normally do is like for example my mom if we're having our big um, cookings on Sunday she'll start um, marinating the chicken um, from Friday Friday and it will have every type of seasoning in Your there. Your mom's committed. Yeah oh she is committed. <laughs> Mine should be but <laughs> yeah no I'm and joking. my grandma's joking also mom. good. Joking. My grandma's also good for making it right away and it still tastes really really good and then from there you can always use it it will last you a couple of days so yeah. it is kind of like a big batch that she'll do because everybody comes over or she drops off food for everyone. So even uh, when my uncle cooks, everyone goes then Is your family to his house. here? Yeah. Okay, so everyone's so good. Does your does your grandma have my address? Oh yeah. For sure. She said everyone. I know. I you will. said everyone. I will put you on the delivery that's a, that's route. On camera. Yeah, so you look right. You tell I'll grandma. You. Okay, grandma. Grandma, okay, so you need to do some cooking <laughs> at my mom and we'll drop it off here for Kim. Okay? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to uh, check in with the, see okay. how Carrie's doing over All here. All right, we'll do that. And then, uh, yeah. I'm excited to taste it. Awesome. All right, how are we doing? Really good. We have, do uh, you smell that? The oh ginger, God, the yeah. garlic. We're going to just cook this for a little bit longer. The, the rice, rice is I've got ready. rice, the chicken. chicken. I'm going to add the chicken, scramble up some egg. Excellent. And throw that all in. And, um, is there a song you have right now? Do I have a song? Yeah, you want to sing a song? No. Um, nope. Mm-mm, good. Like, no. Mm-mm, good. Who doesn't love a little good, good food? Awesome. Well, you keep singing. Keep cooking. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, Excellent. get out of my kitchen so okay, I can go I'm going, do it. I'm going. Excellent. <laughs> Realty, agent-owned cloud brokerage, beyond the crowds and in the cloud. A future of real estate today. SB, Inglewood's amazing design boutique, specializing in Canadian design goods. SB Experience. Diva Salon Spa, seven locations to serve Calgary. DivaSalonSpa.com At Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary, our vision is that all children and youth discover and achieve their dreams. Raise hope and nurture the dreams of a child or youth by becoming a foster parent with Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. Gwendolyn, thank you so much for coming out today. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I've actually been telling people, guess who's coming to town? Gwendolyn Richards is going to be on the show because you are the guru when it comes to everything food, culinary here in Calgary. You write about it. You've actually done a cookbook. I have. Pucker. And, yes, and it has booze in it. I love the fact that a cookbook comes with accompanying drinks. I just think that all good meals start with a good cocktail, and that's why the book needed to start that way. So... Absolutely. So tell me, what is your take on what's going on in the, like the culinary scene to me, uh, not being like, I'm, I'm a bit of a foodie, but I'm not really in, in, in it. Um, it seems to be exploding. Like, what's going on? It's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, definitely the food scene here in Calgary has grown a lot over the five or, last five or six years. We've certainly moved away from that whole steak and potatoes yeah. philosophy that everyone associates with Calgary. And but, the chains. And the, the chains. The chains. We don't, I, nobody has to go to a chain restaurant. Anymore. No, but what's amazing to me is that even right now with the economic downturn, there's still lots of amazing places that are opening up all over the city. What I found interesting, so I went and saw, I went to Klein and Harris. Yes. And what I found was interesting is they took the philosophy of, they do have great cocktails, so they brought it in at a good pricing, but they're also, they've taken it down to, um, 
more so some a la carte so they can address price points so you can eat as little or as much as you want. Are you seeing that people are addressing the, the price point challenges in Calgary uh, in different ways? Or? Yes, I do feel that um, a lot of restaurants now are offering a lot of share plate options. If, if it's not a restaurant that's solely share plates, which actually a lot of them are starting to do, then there are a lot of options where you could split an appetizer, split a dish, split a main, and you get well fed, but not for the price that you would have maybe paid a few years ago where everyone followed the pattern of yes. appetizer, main dish, dessert. Now it's a little more family oriented or like yeah, new the company family, oriented. The, the share plates are, yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. Um, and I know like Chef Wanda, she's been on the show and she always serves in the, the, the family plating mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, one more thing. So there's a lot, I've noticed that there is some unique, um, uh, more intimate kind of party places, group gathering places, like the Guild has a space in its lower level. Yeah, Sub that, Rosa. Yeah, that yeah. was so cool. I was there a few weeks ago and it, for an event, and I was really blown away. It didn't. It's something that kind of took me back. I didn't expect it to be there. Mm -hmm. So, what are you kind of seeing pop up for that type of um, offering here in Calgary? I think we're seeing definitely spaces like Sabrosa, which is kind of like a speakeasy. It's under yeah. the guild, it's secretive and dark, and it's got that huge focal point with the bar. But what we're also seeing, which is pretty amazing, are lots of teeny tiny wine bars. So Frenchy opened, Frenchy. which is in okay. behind Una Takeaway. So okay. Una on 17th, and next to it is their new offering, Una Takeaway. Okay, and then yeah, yeah. this sort of secret room at the back is Frenchy, and it's a wine and charcuterie bar and cheese. And that's oh. it. It's, it's wine and cheese and meat and bread. Awesome. Which um, are my favorite things. So. Yeah. Just, you had me at wine. You had me at wine. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to go check out the, what was the name of the speakeasy? Sabrosa. Sabro nope. What was oh, the other uh, one? Frenchy? Frenchy. 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 It's named after their their French bulldog, Frenchy. It's a, oh, it's so actually, the, the, all the okay. stuff is about their, you know. Okay, their, so I'm going to go check out yeah. Frenchy. You'll go with me, right? Yes. Excellent. Anytime. Excellent. Well, I'm off to the kitchen to see what's uh, smelling so great. Yes. Excellent. Nice. All right. Okay. You look like you're uh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon Just squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, what makes it like? What are some tips and tricks oh, that you can offer to mom gourmets out there? This is such a versatile dish. Mm -hmm. um, by cutting your vegetables, and you can use any vegetables. Okay. Uh, honestly, whatever. You, this is a. What do I have in my fridge? Would you use Brussels sprouts? You could. Yeah, you could shave them if you want. I wouldn't. Um, but that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, like I need little alien brains. <laughs> alien brains in my place. Sorry. Sorry yes, about no aliens. My food will make you smarter, but you we don't need aliens. Okay. Um, I find the smaller you, you chop it up, the quicker it will cook. You can also pre-soak your rice. Okay. So rinse your rice, put it in the pot. Like while you're making your coffee, this is what I do. Everything is ready for me to go at 5.30 when everyone's hangry and miserable and grouchy and I'm no better and it's wine o'clock and wine you know, o'clock, wine o'clock and the children and, uh, are hangry. It, you know, everything is is there ready for you. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yes. At Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary, our vision is that all children and youth discover and achieve their dreams. Raise hope and nurture the dreams of a child or youth by becoming a foster parent with Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. EXP Realty, agent owned cloud brokerage, beyond the crowds and in the cloud. A future of real estate today. Espy, Inglewood's amazing design boutique, specializing in Canadian design goods. Espy Experience. Diva Salon Spa. Seven locations to serve Calgary. Divasalonspa.com. Salita, I'm so excited you're here. So what are we making today? 
Today we're making a, a teacup candle centerpiece using a repurposed um, tea set. I love the gold on this. This is beautiful. I noticed that it actually says 50th anniversary on there. That is so cool. Well, this is, I thought, a perfect piece to upcycle because um, generally people don't want the 50th anniversary on it, so I thought we could totally repurpose it oh, to absolutely. a great centerpiece. Absolutely. So if you're entertaining or just having family over and you want to make your table look beautiful, this is a project that will work for you. Excellent. So I also totally happen to sell these teacup candles in my shop, too. Oh, okay. So this is something you already had done. So Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of like when people go to Pinterest and they see all these great ideas. You can just be somebody's Pinterest, right? You can well, just make actually, it you know for what? them. I have that on the signage at my shop. Oh. Um, because I, customers always say that about my store. They're like, oh, it's like a real life Pinterest. So That's yes, awesome. we're totally Pinteresting out today. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So what we need to get started is, uh, first of all, a candle wax. And we've got our, our cup for making the candle. Uh, we need some wicks um, and some hot glue so we can glue it in there. We've already got our wax melting here, and uh, and then the the um, popsicle sticks are to hold the wick in place until the wax is totally mel or uh, set. Sorry, not melted. We're doing that now. Um, and then uh, to dress it up some more, I just got some foliage here. Excellent. So Love the we'll get started. So first, you got to take a, a wick. You can buy um, the wick on a reel and then just buy these little things separate, but you know, if you're doing it for the first time, it's a bit tricky. Yeah. So I thought, well, we'll just cheat and we'll do it this way. Absolutely. And again, you can buy these supplies at most craft stores. So we're just going to drop a little dab of glue in there, the hot glue gun, and set that wick in there. And as you can see, the wick wants to move around a lot. so. Once we pour the wax in, it'll move around even more. So what I might do is actually put the sticks in here now. Okay, I think we'll turn I'm following you on the sticks. I thought you were gonna shove them down in. I'm going, well, how is the wax gonna sit? Okay, that makes absolute sense. And then we're just gonna carefully pour the wax in here. Without dribbling on the cup. On the That's a great rim. can for that. I think we also found this one at the secondhand store. It's amazing what you can find at the secondhand store and repurpose it into something fantastic. So we'll just um, set this aside um, very carefully, and let it cool. And then when it's done cooling, um, you can always trim this wick off a little bit because it's usually a little bit too long. Perfect. And then we'll take um, our saucer and plate and we'll just cut up some of this foliage here and play around with it. Um, and probably glue, use the hot glue gun to glue some of the stuff in place. And make a nice little setting for the candle to fit into. And I'll probably take some of the foliage and put it in here as well with the little saucer on top. But this is where the scissors come in handy. Excellent. So I just kind of play around with it really Quick like before you glue anything yeah, down. Before I glue anything down, just to see how it all looks, because you might want to arrange it a little bit differently. Now, could I put in the if I wanted to put vanilla or lavender or anything like that, like an essential oil into the candle? Could you do that? Like a maybe even a, a, a cinnamon or something? Just to, I just I'm I'm always burning something that smells like food. Actually, well, I, you can. Um, and there's a number of places you can buy essential oils at, and I would totally recommend using essential oils yeah. and not the artificial ones. Yeah. Um, they don't, they're not as powerful as the artificial ones, um, so I think it takes a bit of experimenting. Well, now our centerpiece is done. Okay. All we've got to do is light it. And Can I light? Have some dinner. Excellent. I'm gonna light it up, and I'm gonna head back over to the kitchen because it smells amazing. That is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I think it looks great too. All right. Look at this beautiful rainbow. And you beat the clock by 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So you 40 I'm minutes. You. 
It's a beautiful thing. Now I've got one more thing to put on here. We'll do this for now. Okay. Okay. Fine. Just wait. Sorry. <gasps> Oh, I forgot me. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Quick. Okay, okay, what do ready? we got? One, two, three. Shazam. Shazam. I don't know. Something yeah. like that. I like a little sesame seed. There. Okay. Awesome. That is, that is amazing. It's beautiful. Thank you. Take a yes, right. please. I'll take please. A bite. It's a little hot, but uh, I love the, I just love the ginger and the sesame oil and the, and the garlic and, you can make it gluten-free, too, if you want. Oh, thoughts? that's nice. Yeah. That's just you like, can spice it up if you want. That's way better than getting it at the to-go shop. And it's because good for you. Because by the time you, you dry it to-go yeah. to shop, you bring it home. It's like an you, hour. You, yeah, you take in the oh. 40 minutes. So you might as well make it fresh. Yes. That's great. Thank you. Mom for me. Oh, thank you. At Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary, our vision is that all children and youth discover and achieve their dreams. Raise hope and nurture the dreams of a child or youth by becoming a foster parent with Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. ESPY, Inglewood's amazing design boutique specializing in Canadian design goods. ESPY Experience. Diva Salon Spa. Seven locations to serve Calgary. Divasalonspa.com. EXP Realty. Agent owned cloud brokerage. Beyond the crowds and in the cloud. A future of real estate today. All right, so Carrie, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? ready. ready? Oh, Let's I do this. Bon appetit, ladies. I Thank hope you, you enjoy your rainbow. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Rainbow. Pull it over. Yeah, pull it over. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's have some of this. Yeah. This really is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love all. So it good. It tastes really good, too. Mm. So, thank you. Having Gwendolyn on and learning about all the different places that are new, mm -hmm. latest and greatest, we've seen lots. It's amazing. Calgary is, even though it's in a reset financial, yeah. the number of restaurants that are Happy. coming online, and they're true culinary. Either they'll have a fusion uh, with, with, you know, showing the, the cocktail, there's yes, a lot of little cocktail bars. Yeah. There was one that just actually popped up also um, on 17th Ave called Ricardo's. Ricardo's. Yeah. Little, Where's that at? 17th and? 17th and I think 4th or 5th. 5th? Yeah. Ricardo's alcohol. Yeah. So it's good and it's a little iry as well. Same like that other place I was telling you about, Simply Iry on 17th Ave. And that has a little bit of the Jamaican um, food and culture and it's really, really good there So a place too. you can take your mom and. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. can go there and you can get food in the morning and it will last you all, all throughout, throughout the day. day. So that's good. what you said. Yeah, you can have it and you are full. And it's oh, at yeah. a reasonable price too, so it's good. Reasonable price is important. I'm finding yeah. that a lot of the menus, a lot of the people, so yeah. Klein and Harris, another one that just opened up okay. not too long ago, and they've got a kind of an a la carte type of thing. So I yeah. see a lot of these very creative, uh, yeah. culinary masterminds that are coming to Calgary and they're they're coming in with these uh, unique ways to approach uh, a market that a lot of people would say no I'm not going to open up I'm yes. not going to do anything let's pull back and just do the mac and cheese um, I think it's good because Calgarians are ready to try something new and these small shops are coming up and everybody wants to try them so yeah. let's get all oh, the flies back. Yeah. We have one fly on set today. I one know. fly. I'm so sorry, Sasha. That's one fly. Okay. Somebody killed that fly. But um, <laughs> he's a paid guest. He's a paid <laughs> guest. <laughs> We're a live audience today. Yeah. Um, the Guild is yes. in, down at the bay. Yeah, down, down by Seaman with Ab, yeah, it's on there as well. Yeah. I've heard of it to try that out. I went there for a function. Okay. They have down in the lower level, oh. beautiful function room oh, wow. and okay, beautiful bar. 
And um, they had uh, the roast yeah. that you could shave right off, and yeah. it was perfect, perfect, oh, perfect. Nice. My husband loved it. Okay. So yeah, we were there for a function not too long ago. Um, some of my favorites I've come across are like obviously like okay. Star Bellies in the southeast. That's okay. a good one if you're in there. deep south. You'd mentioned the alloy. I want to try there. Alloy, That's supposed to be yes. good. It looks really, really good inside. So. And the nice thing is, is when you go to a lot of these local places. Yeah. It's it's your you're impacting people locally, and you know Support what? Food's local. a celebration. Exactly. And you know, if you can't go away to Mexico, go out to a nice restaurant and have a great experience. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It was great. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed today. Oops. Pardon me. I'm gonna dig in, eat the rest of my fried yeah, rice, and we'll see you next time on Kim's Kitchen. Thanks. We are gonna fly, fly away. Fly.